traveled along about a seven kilometer section, about an equivalent of minor grade, one to two percent uphill and downhill, and we're hitting about 10.9 liters per 100 kilometers on four wheel drive. Next, let's switch to two wheel drive and see what kind of result we're getting. try the same thing in two-wheel drive. Switch the truck into two-wheel drive. I'm running at 90 kilometers an hour. So I've just reset my trip counter, 90 kilometers an hour. It's a fairly flat section through here. See how things go. I've got a tractor trailer coming up on my outside. I might have to break my speed to let him all over if he's having some struggles. Again, it's a nice level section of terrain. shape about 730 seconds of an inch tread left on them. We're running in two-wheel drive with cruise control on. In fact, any vehicle, when you're running in slippery conditions, you should not be running in your cruise control. Because you could hit a slushy patch or something like that. The vehicle is going to want to keep the same speed. You don't have that full control over your vehicle. So I do recommend against that. Anyway, back to target here. We are running 90 kilometers an hour. It's still a fairly flat section through all the way through here. Starting to come up to a bit of a grade. I've hit about four kilometers now. So here we are, 9.8 liters per 100 kilometers, about four and a half kilometers distance. Like I say, we're starting to rise that grade, so my fuel economy will start to rise. So we do see a difference in fuel economy between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, as you would anticipate. There's a lot of running gear with four-wheel drive that adds more friction. Friction converts into more effort for the engine to move everything along, keep the parts, keep the parts working, which will reflect in your fuel economy. So this is part one of my fuel economy experience. What I also want to do is a decent section of driving at reasonable highway speed and repeat the identical section around the same time so that the driving conditions are identical, wind direction is identical, because the difference between a headwind and a tailwind could make a significant difference in fuel economy. Thanks for coming along for the ride today. If you found this video informative, please take a moment to subscribe and be notified of future content. Take care.